guys, welcome to Those Jackies Times 3. My name is Kenisa, and today we're going to be doing a bit of a different video for you guys. I don't know if you guys enjoy these videos, but I have been addicted to these bee cleaning videos. So, I decided to try to do one myself and just show you guys what it's like cleaning a house with three dogs. Um, so, I definitely hope you guys enjoy this video. And stay tuned if you want to see how I clean my house. Alright guys, so this is how the room starts. This is what we're looking at to begin with. It's a little rough, but we are going to get it together. Alright, so the first thing I like to do is I like to open up the blinds and get some natural lighting in the house while I'm cleaning. And of course, we have to get the music going. I'm a huge fan of the new SZA album, so I listen to the whole thing while cleaning. <laughs> So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going ahead and taking off all the sheets on the bed. I like to wash the sheets definitely once a week, especially because the dogs do sleep with me. I just like to make sure we are able to keep it clean. So I always give the dogs a bath once a week. And on that same day I bathe the dogs, I go ahead and wash the sheets. And you do see Zoe rolling around and playing. And this is just me going ahead and putting the laundry into the, laun the washer. Next thing I like to do is I do like to pour some baking soda on the bed just to um, help sanitize the mattress. And I'll leave it on there for about 30 to 45 minutes and I'll vacuum it off. And now I'm just cleaning off the dresser. wiping down those nightstands I am using the method all-purpose cleaner I'm a big uh, fan of it and it does have that pomegranate smell that I really like and the scent does really fill up a room once you use it all right it's time to go ahead and vacuum off the baking soda And I like to just go ahead and hit up the dog stairs just because we're cleaning everything. Just get all the extra dirt, dandruff, hair off. And next we're going to start on the master bath. And I am using the Method Daily Cleaner. After I Clorox beat the shower, bleach the shower, I put in the Method um, Daily Shower Cleaner. Let's get these clothes in the dryer. Um, you do see the sheets are black. That's because I am changing the bed set in the room. Um, so I went ahead and wash. I like to wash my new sheets when I wash um, the old ones just because I like them to be clean when I put them on my bed. And whenever I'm taking off an old comforter, I like to make sure that's clean before I put it up in storage just in case I need it. So the bathroom is done. We're just getting everything set back in there. So on to the family room. This is what we're starting with in the family room. Please mind you that I am trying to do a little bit of redecorating in the house. I haven't really done too much decorating quite yet. So I'm just now starting to do so. So bear with me. Now I'm just vacuuming out the dog's bed. This is the bed that I just keep in the family room for them. So I just like to make sure it's vacuumed out and clean. And then I'll go ahead and vacuum the couches. I like to get underneath the cushions and make sure it's clean under there. And then just vacuum the cushions as well. And we're doing the same thing to this couch. Alright, I am using this dog freshener spray. I like to, it's like a furniture spray. So I spray it on all the furniture in the living room. Just give it a nice little mist, especially with the dogs getting on the couch. Just to make sure it smells fresh in the house. And next thing I'm doing is cleaning off the coffee table. 
and I am going to be moving that to the front of the room temporarily um, until I get an entertainment pizza like in the front of the house. So I am using that same method spray. It's an all-purpose cleaner. It can go on wood, tile, pretty much anything. And I am wiping off their stairs as well just to make sure those are clean. So now we're getting everything moved out of the way to move the coffee table under there to be my temporary makeshift entertainment center. Before I do that, I just want to vacuum it out. Make sure y'all have the dust bugs up. So just gonna vacuum the whole floor and then go ahead and mop the family room. Alright, so I did go ahead and buy some lamps because I, as I said I'm trying to just do a little bit of decorating. This is just the beginning stages. This is not the complete look. Um, it doesn't look the same today as it did in the video, but I did get those lamps from Target and I went ahead and set those up and now I'm going to get the new linen on the bed. So I wanted to go with more of a white and gold with black with accents of black. So that is what we're going for in the room. So now I'm just folding up the clean old sheets because like I said, I like to have it washed and clean before I put it away just in case I need it in a clutch. I already know it's clean. And of course, when I'm making the bed, Zoe loves to be on the bed and just be in the way when the bed is being made so and that is her So we got some new pillows, getting those set up. I also got these little flowers just to bring in some more of the gold yellow color I really liked. And I also got this mirror from Target that I just wanted to put above a bed as a little accent piece I thought would be really cute. And I also want to go ahead and add some curtains to the room. I did use sheer curtains um i originally wanted them four length but i didn't see the ones long enough so I want those ones that came below the window and i would just go ahead and mopping and vacuuming up all right and no room is complete without lighting the candle so i always like to light a candle in the room after i'm done and this is the dining room table as i have mentioned i do do home daycare so that's all my home daycare stuff getting it out the way still using that method cleaner to clean the tables, the same one I've been using earlier in the video. And wash the dog's mats, getting those put back in there. Now we're cleaning the half bath that is downstairs. This is a bath primarily used for the kids that I watch and for the parents that come in. So I like to make sure I keep this pretty clean for them. And now I'm doing the dishes, getting the kitchen together. And still using that same method all purpose cleaner to wipe down the countertops. I really love this stuff. Alright, so 
just clean that's like my catch-all counter I just put anything and everything on this counter so it's nice to just clean it off every once in a while and then it'll start to be a catch-all counter again and then I'll clean it again it's like a never-ending cycle all right let's get this kitchen swept and I do like I did want to go ahead and just do like a stainless steel cleaner on the refrigerator, get all those little fingerprints off, and let's go ahead and get the floor mopped. So I like to do whenever I get a new comforter, I like to put my old comforter in the same casing that the new comforter came in. It's just easy for me to keep everything organized. So it's already clean and in one place. So if I need it, it's right there. Alright, kitchen floor is dry, putting everything back. I am exhausted as you can tell so let's see a finished product guys so that is how I clean my house definitely hope you guys enjoyed this video um, please do not forget to like subscribe and share blah, blah. please do not forget to like subscribe and share our channel also I am filming this as we're waiting for the hurricane so I want to let everybody know that we're praying for everybody who has experienced Hurricane Harvey and who is going through Hurricane Irma right now please stay safe and we will catch you next time bye guys